expanding 1 plus x to the n using the binomial theorem when n is negative or fractional. The binomial theorem, or the binomial expansion of 1 plus x to the n where n is a positive integer, is given by 1 plus x to the n is nco plus nc1x plus nc2x squared, etc. And then it will go up to nc n minus 1x n minus 1 plus ncn x to the n. These are the last two terms. nc0 is 1, so it becomes 1 plus nc1x plus nc2x squared up until uh, the last two terms, nc n minus 1x n minus 1, and ncn is also 1, so we just end up with x to the n. Now this works if the uh, value of n is a positive in integer. What about when n is fractional or negative? NCR is defined as n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial will have no meaning if n is a fraction or a fraction or a negative number, sorry. So NCR, let's have a look at it in, in, in a bit more detail. NCR is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Now n factorial means n, n minus one times n minus one times n minus two times n minus three up until, and somewhere there'll be an n minus r plus one term. Then there'll be an n minus r term, n minus r minus one, and then it'll carry on and then there'll be three times two times one at the end. We don't know what's in here or here. Dividing by NCR factorial means NCR times N minus R minus 1. And then we have go down until 3 times 2 times 1. And we'll still have that R factorial. Now, you, you can see that the N minus R's will cancel out. Also, the N minus R minus 1 will cancel out. All the other ones in between will cancel out. But the 3, the 2 and the 1... So on the top, you're going to be left with n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus r plus 1 over r factorial. Which will have a meaning if n is fractional or, or negative. So we've got ncr is now equal to that. Let's just have a look at a few cases. nc1 will be n factorial over 1 factorial nc2 would become n, n minus 1. Notice it's always, uh, the last term is r plus 1. So r was 2 in this case, plus minus 2 in this case. So it would be uh, minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1, over 2 factorial. And then nc3 will be n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over 3 factorial, etc. So that gives me 1 plus x to the n, if you remember we have already as define it as 1 plus n minus 1 times x plus nc2. So that's nc1 times x plus nc2 times x squared plus nc3 times x cubed. That gives me 1. Now if we use this idea here over nx, because n over 1 factorial is just nx, plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared, plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed, and that will carry on forevermore. This is an infinite series, but this is for all n is belongs to the real numbers. It will work for positive integers, negative integers, and fractional. Provided um, x is between minus 1 and 1, and remember it's only an expansion of 1 plus x, or sometimes this is written as the absolute value is less than 1. Note that the condition minus 1, x being between minus 1, 1 is required if n is fractional or negative because the series is infinite and this is a condition which will actually ensure that the series converges. Okay, so this has been a uh, video to show you how the formula for expanding uh, 1 plus x to the n, where n is fractional or a negative number, 
uh, is expanded using the binomial theorem. And this is what you need to know, this formula here. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.